Benedetta Bazzini never slept with Gerard Melander, and she's still furious. He faked a whole romance, all those love poems, totally bogus. But he looked utterly glamorous getting into a cab at St. Mark's Place on my third day here in this bulging tent of a city. Somebody I recognized, even if it was from a Warhol movie. And the first party I went to, there was Bridget Pope, wearing the same greasy turtleneck she wore in Chelsea Girls. It was just like the movie, a movie about the movie. It all merged, like day and night merged, walking down 2nd Avenue, past the holy house of St. Mark's, Church of My Heart, Church of the Word, cockeyed spire pointing to fierce American skies, crammed with poets and poems that filled my head blended into the sweet smell of gasoline, the iron roar of Second Avenue traffic whirling pell-mell downtown, metallic symphony of cars and cabs and trucks injecting pedestrians with that click click speed city ribbon, that urban throb, truckloads of food and furniture shunting and bouncing over the potholes, Chinese, Burmese, Indian restaurants passing in a blur of hieroglyphic neon, cheap jacks and ratners and shacks smoked fish and the bodies cooling in the funeral parlor at Third Street, close by Tony's Cafe Deluxe, where we began each day guzzling scrambled eggs off the formica with the hardcore mulatto ghost ship sailors, the chocolate-skinned ambulance dancers. I had the fever for their brown-eyed handsomeness. They only love girls, and I wanted to change that. I wanted to bevel their edges, reshape their priorities, but they laughed in my face when I tried to get sexy. They were nice, so nice, chock full of vice, tall, dark anacondas sipping homemade daiquiris, words flying like sparks as they cracked the Dexy whip, left me tongue-tied and french fried, dried out, drier than Betty Ford. I let the air out of your sandwich, baby. I tried to emulate their diamond style with the hot white wire of methadrine, hoping my goofball stare might somehow shatter hearts when I tottered into bars on those 8th Street platform heels, doubling my sense of elevation, looking for much more than a simple kiss, my arm holding a fist and demanding a leg, a jambon, the whole ham dripping grease and cracklings. Lunch was always turning into dinner, my medulla full of darts and thorns and dirty deeds not dreamed but done in daylight and moonlight, in doorways and hallways, pool rooms and rent parties, broken locks and stand-up cocks popping like mushrooms, blurred snapshots of a goon world, extreme conditions documented in the flare of a flashbulb. Polaroids fanned like cards in a giddy fist. My faux Borsellino still balanced on my head at the most potent moments. The shutter clicked, but the hammer never came all the way down. And I love this stinking town. New York, the ever-turning wheel that grinds exceeding fine.